All right, so family, let's see what's going on here. Come on, spirit guides, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Tell me what's in the cards today, please. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. It's a gorgeous day. It's a gorgeous day. They're flying everywhere. It's a little windy out here, but we're going to see what's happening here today. All right, we got married. Can you see that? We have a cheater, so someone was a cheater. What I'm seeing here is that someone was married and they cheated on, on you. They were married, they put you in a third party relationship, and they were already married. So therefore they're a cheater, unfaithful. these down here. Sorry, it's real windy out here. Shoot, I'm losing cards. Ah. Okay. We also have here someone's living in your home. So someone's living in your home. The person you're with cheated on you or they were cheating because they're married. You didn't know that apparently. And someone's living in your home. So this could be, you know, a friend, someone you don't even know, but someone's living in your home right now. You stand in your true power though. And their tactics won't work. Of course not. If you're standing in your true power, you know you've been awakened and you see the light, you know what's going on, you're intuitive, you're clairvoyant. They're not gonna get the best of you. Even if someone's living in your home and you don't even know that this home was left to you, you will be getting that home because you know justice shall be served. Touch not my anointed. So let's see what else we got going on here. Before all the cards fly away. Base of the deck. We've got you come from a royal bloodline. So you come from a royal bloodline and these people didn't know. They thought they could just make you an option. This person, your ex, your ex-lover, put you in a third-party relationship. Didn't tell you they were married. Uh, but they went with the karmic. You're from a royal bloodline. You are chosen. They screwed up. They really did. God had to step in for you, though. He had to step in for you because these people wouldn't stop. They they didn't know who they were messing with. Now they know you're chosen. <laughs> stop my dogs over here. And guess what? For all this stuff they did to you, you're gonna become an instant millionaire. Heck yeah, it could be from lottery, it could be an inheritance, it could just be a great job, but it could be a business idea, but you are going to become a millionaire. Yes, thank you, God. We love you. Soul Tribe, everyone. Ha! Funny this came out. They ghosted you. Well, so the person who was dating you or whatever put you in a third party relationship ghosted you because they're probably going to get caught by their wife or husband for cheating. So they had to ghost you because it was getting, you know, you're catching on to their, you know, their lies is what I'm feeling here is what I'm getting from spirit. And now they want you to unblock them. 
They want you to unblock them because they want to talk to you. They want their cake. They want they want to eat it too. <laughs> they considered you an option and they got you fucked up. You ain't that. You got better things coming. You know what? They have to learn their lesson, you know? They got with the karmic. They had a chosen one and they picked the wrong choice. So hopefully they learn their lesson and, you know, they can move on. You're healing and... You're going to have better things. And they were a liar. Yeah. We know that. Every time you caught them doing something, him or her caught them cheating or saw numbers in their phone or saw them actually out in public with someone else. He you just know, walk in with them, soaking a cigarette or whatever. Oh, no, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. They always have their defenses up. They're always sending lies, saying lies, you know, you can never get a straight answer from this person. And now they fantasize, they fantasize about you. Of course they do, you're the best thing they ever had. The best I ever had, the best I ever had. Thank you, Drake, but you know what I'm saying? You know what? They want what they can't have. Now that you know they can't have you and you're not there to, you know, be at their beck and call and when it's not working out with their wife or their husband and come, you know, to you, you're not there. You've moved on. That's what I'm saying. They put you in a third party. They put you in a third party relationship. No one deserves that unless they are aware of that like you know what I mean it's not cool if you put someone in a third party relationship and they're not aware of it who does that a liar hello still emotionally connected to their ex you may still be emotionally connected to your ex you know it was hard you gotta move on but you're still having some feelings about it or, you know, your your ex can be emotionally so attached to their ex and taking it out on you, you know, making them, making you their, you know, stomping ground or, you know, their stomping bag. Um, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. They're taking out their uh, past trauma on you, putting you in a third party relationship cheating on you because they were cheated on they're not healed they are just not healed oh my gosh my dog just sees all over sorry he's a bulldog he <laughs> gets a little snotty and sneezy sometimes guess what peeps guess what soul tribe let the past go just let it go you know what you moved on you're gonna get better good things are gonna come to you you know, you have to wait a little patiently, but good things are on the way. I can feel it. I can sense it. Just be strong. Keep going. You know what I mean? Not everyone's a liar and, you know, not everyone is deceiving. This is just someone who is unhealed that you were dealing with before, your ex, and, you know, you've got away from them. That's all you can think. Thank God for that. Thank you, God. use that one I think that's basically all I have today um, just a little message for y'all and don't worry you know things will get better it's always a beautiful day look at it look at the ocean how beautiful thank God for every day we live I mean what a beautiful beautiful planet we live on you got to be thankful you know got to see the joy in the little things that you get to wake up every day and take a breath, you know?